Dennis also began recruiting more and more soldiers to work under him as part of the growth of his drug enterprise. Dennis was extremely aggressive and prone to random acts of violence. For example, in 1984, Dennis shot and killed his friend, Wayne Stanhope, in front of witnesses in his own house. And the Pettengales were very successful at scaring witnesses out of ever corroborating with police for fear that they too would become victims of violent retaliations. But by 1985, Dennis's power was starting to fade. Police were investigating him for over 11 different cases that included a fatal shooting, three suspicious drug overdoses, two missing persons, and five confirmed homicides. Ironically though, only a month after he was officially charged with murder, Dennis died from heart failure at the age of 35, likely due to his years of reckless partying and drug abuse. 